Hey guys, and welcome back to Elevadium. My name is Light, and today we are working on the mobile version. Uh, so this should be at the end of part two, part A, uh, the first part. Uh, there's a part one and then part continuation for part two. Hopefully, you didn't do part two because, well, we're starting from part one. We should have gotten around this far, so I'm gonna just say this. Uh, we're gonna place two switches right next to. Oh, why do they always have to connect to something? Uh, just deconnect these. Now, uh, what I want you to do is just disconnect everything from the chair, okay? Now, one switch is gonna be for pistons, and then the next one, uh, we're gonna have the camera. Just plop that in there. Turn off crosshairs, turn off collision, and then just connect that to the other switch. I'm not really sure much about mobile, but I've played mobile once, <laughs> so I'm pretty much a figured out how everything works. Okay, now, the only problem with mobile version for this thing is that it's not gonna have a reset mechanic like the rest of them, like when you stub the limbs, it's gonna stop like this, and it will not go back to the same position. I've tried to figure out ways. I'm so sorry, guys, I'm honest. But it's easier. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can kind of see that I kind of got these connected like, like that. So what we're going to do is kind of what we're going to do in part two. So we are going to connect red and red. Oh, why am I on zero? And green and green. So let's go to 0 0.2, just like that. And just get it like that. Now it is. Stretch it out. Bring this one out. If you guys want to, you can make pistons invisible. Now, honestly, respect to all those who are using mobile because I know it's hard. I've tried it once and I just could not. So respect to all of you guys. Okay, now we place this. If you guys want it to be a little bit more smooth, then you can go to 0 0.1. Uh, and now just do the same thing, but in the back for green. You know, I'm gonna just stick to 0 0.1. If you guys want to continue at 0 0.2, then you know what to do. Now, if you ever do need help with your mechanic, then you can go down into the description and join the Discord channel. There will be a hashtag robot help and uh, apparently there's gonna be another server that you join. Thank you, OctoQ, for doing this to me. You've made it so much more complex than you needed to. Uh, let's just continue on. And then after this, you can skip ahead to like 30 seconds because I am going to do a little bit of a uh, talking moment. It's an important message, so I would prefer you listen. But I know some of you just want the tutorial, so fine. Don't listen to what I have to say. I'm just a lovely YouTuber. Who needs to pay for college? So if you're having a troublesome time building one of these, then you could go down into the description. Um, no, not the description. There should be a little tab that says memberships. If you join the memberships, one, you can join me in a video, a future video of live stream or something, and meet me, I guess. Uh -huh. Wait, it's a small cost. I believe it's like 99 cents and four or five bucks, I think. Uh, but there are two special memberships where one, I will build a robot for you, just for you. And don't worry, I'll make it very beautiful. And then two. There is a beautiful thing where I'll build a robot for you and a plashbot based on your character. So go on, help me 
pay for college. I do need it. Thank you. And also, there's some awesome merch. it later on don't worry okay so now we do this and yes you want to connect this to the wheel where forward is w well i mean you kind of have no choice i guess since you're mobile figure that out let me disconnect that okay now what you are going to do is you're going to take a hinge and you're just going to place it on both ends just like that and now uh, i mean this is really just easier than all the other tutorials. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place springs like this uh, and then place it up. Wait a minute. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring this thing down more. Sorry about that, y'all. Just bring it down and then if you wanna fix it later, you can. Okay, now we take our springs, we do this and we bring it up. Also bring the springs down like that. Make it easier on your soul. And then we just connect these. So just like place a little block right there. That is your point two. This is the moment I said you can adjust. You can just take the trowel tool and like move this up if you want to. Do you warn this middle pole is gonna hit you? So just move it up like that. And then you can just do this. Block. And just connect these. go uh, so just select all turn off collision wheel torque you want it full uh, and wheel spin is going to be 10 almost hated myself save it like that load it in and let's just test it out so you want to select everything except the torso of the head and then just flick your levers to bring everything in just test that out now this is what I meant uh, I guess with practice you can like get it to the position where it stops nicely but otherwise it's still fun like I mean look at this this is honestly so cool oh yeah and then you just flick the switch for the camera cool right <laughs> okay so I'm gonna end this video off right now uh, there will be another video for making this thing move forward and turning uh, I'm trying to do it in sections so it's easier for everyone but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you ever need help down into the description enjoy the discord 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 and join the discord and uh there will be a hashtag robot help that you can join uh then there will be another server thank you octocube and uh yeah honestly look at this bro it's so cool i'm probably gonna have to attempt it on mobile to see if it actually works uh, um but yeah this should work theoretically So yeah, uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!